Hi everyone, I want to talk a little bit about endocrine therapy, ovarian suppression in premenopausal hormone receptor positive breast cancer. Now I have a lot of videos on this, you can go back and look, but the first point is that anyone with hormone receptor positive breast cancer needs endocrine therapy, which is either tamoxifen, which you don't need to be postmenopausal for, or an aromatase inhibitor, which you do need to be postmenopausal for. And in prior videos, I go into mechanisms of action, why we pick one over the other. But we know that some patients with higher risk disease, meaning they have a higher risk of breast cancer recurrence, would benefit more from ovarian suppression with an aromatase inhibitor or an ovarian suppression with tamoxifen over tamoxifen alone. Now, ovarian suppression can be done by one of two ways. One is a through medications that temporarily shut down the ovaries like Lupron or Zolidex. And when you do that, you temporarily shut down the ovaries. The ovaries stop making estrogen and you're in menopause. And then you can be on an aromatase inhibitor. The other way is through surgical removal of the ovaries, and that is called an oophorectomy. Typically, when we do an oophorectomy, we also do a salpingectomy with that, which is removal of the fallopian tubes. Hysterectomy is removal of the uterus. And typically, a hysterectomy is not required when you do an oophorectomy and salpingectomy. Ovarian suppression alone, whether with Lupron, Zolidex, or surgery, does not eliminate the need for endocrine therapy with tamoxifen or an aromatase inhibitor because even though your ovaries may not be making estrogen, your body is still making estrogen and that estrogen could feed a cancer cancer cell with the estrogen receptor. So then we need to block that with either tamoxifen or an aromatase inhibitor. Now, I want to talk a little bit about what we saw in the news this week. Olivia Munn um, has been more public about sharing a little bit more about her story and talking about ovarian suppression. And there are two different news articles that tell a little bit of a different story. So this article says that um, she was having a lot of side effects with Lupron and opted to have a hysterectomy. So let's clarify that. A lot, there are patients who really have a hard time with Lupron and they opt for an oophorectomy. They opt to get their ovaries removed, not a hysterectomy, which is removal of the uterus. Now, sometimes we'll use hysterectomy kind of in this um, bigger sense, but truly uh, hysterectomy is removal of the uterus and the cervix, not the ovaries. The second article actually, which I have right here, actually makes it seem like by getting surgery, she won't need endocrine therapy. And we just talked about why that's not the case. And breast cancer treatment, especially for premenopausal breast cancer, which we're seeing more of, but it's really nuanced and it's complicated. And I, I do applaud the media and the news for talking about it and you know making these topics more in the public eye. But the challenge is in some of the medical information because it can be confusing for patients who have their treatment plan and are saying, wait a second, this, this is a little bit different. So whenever you read something in the news, um, you know they have a very finite amount of time, these short articles. So I always urge you to kind of keep that in mind that sometimes what's presented in the media is not always accurate in terms of all the nuances and complexities of treatment, especially when it comes to cancer. But I would love to know any questions about uh, ovarian suppression, endocrine therapy, premenopausal breast cancer, and leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to some.